You looking good, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. You got the whole roster look. Let me see you. <laughs> I used to have dreadlocks, bro. Wow. That's back when I had hair before I was uh, stressed out every day. Yeah. <laughs> Let me Quincy, thank you for your time, class. We are here today hanging out with Quincy. What's your last name, Quincy? Williams. Brother Williams, thank you for allowing me to share for my viewers because I think you got a great situation to help buy your house subject to. I mean, this is how we do consultations. Quincy, go ahead, rock and roll, bro. What you got, man? How are we doing this? So right now, I um I started off, I went to like... I think I dropped the door tags off at about 80 houses. And um, out of the 80 houses, I got three people to respond. One person said, you know, they weren't interested in it. The other person was interested in it, but she had filed Chapter 7. So I, I didn't know. That's cool. Yeah. So real quick, you care to share? You got your door hangers right there with you? You care to share those with us? I don't have. I actually I, I dropped all of them all. I'd have to print out more. Did you make them all? You, did you make them yourself? No, I got them from your um you emailed me what to put on there and I just custom made them from what you had um had on your course. You made the flyers yourself. Yeah. You're a beast, man. <laughs> Good God almighty, you're a beast. We know you can pay it's like two hundred dollars. They make three thousand well, it used to be three thousand. I don't know how many it is now. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Quincy, let's do this, man. Class, you can chime in with questions, comments you got on Quincy's if you can help us set this subject two thing up. Where you at with it? So so right now, I was able to get, I'm, I feel like I'm at the finish line, but I don't know. I got the lady to sign the authorization. I went in, I spoke to the bank. They said that they needed 4400 and for her um, back. She hasn't paid her more, she hasn't paid her mortgage since June. June. So we're six months behind. Yep. Okay, it's not the end of the world. So What's the monthly payment? $340. Where on planet Earth are you living for $340? Exactly. Duryea, Pennsylvania. Where is that? Duryea. It's, it's about 40 minutes from the Poconos. Ooh, that's nice. But y'all don't know. Quincy showed me snow on the ground earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Quincy, 340, does that include taxes and insurance? No, she doesn't even have insurance on her property. Yeah, she doesn't have insurance. The tax well, did she say bill, why? Did she say why she can't afford it? She said that when I was... Sorry about that. When I was speaking with her, she said that her 401k, she completely outlived her 401k, and she's um she's on Social Security or something like that. And she's saying that with the property taxes and just every day-to-day -day life, she just can't afford it. So she said it started off with the um, – she let go of the insurance, and then she hasn't paid her property taxes in three years. Oh, my Lord, God. But see, her property taxes are only fourteen hundred a year. I'm taking notes as we talk, just so you know. Okay, yeah, her 1, property taxes are fourteen hundred a year. So right now, where we are, we're trying to see if we can close the deal. I've reached out to a bunch of different attorneys, but they're they're all telling me that I can't. Um, that in order for me to, in order for me to close on this deal they would want all of her property taxes to be current at closing. What? That's what they said. They said that they cannot transfer deed until all liens have been satisfied. You're talking to the wrong people, dog. See, this is why it's so important to talk to people that know. Anyway. I'm crushing until we have 4,200 in back taxes. Yeah. No, no, no. The back taxes are 4,400. The, the mortgage is 45. Forty-five hundred and fifteen. Okay, well, forty-four. Okay, forty-five hundred back to mortgage payment is forty-five hundred. Back taxes are forty-four hundred, so we're nine thousand. 
clients if you're just joining us we're doing a consultation with quincy he's got a house he's got a lead a prospect right on the hook a fish on the hook to do a subject to and that is where we're taking over the existing financing all right we're going to be going over some questions anybody want to chime in please feel free to do so okay quincy 4500 taxes how about insurance how has she had a house and the lender not do something called a forced place insurance policy on this house how is that possible well she said well this is a small bank they didn't need they don't even hold her taxes in escrow okay so all right so they're not escrowing taxes or insurance they don't even know no exactly so 340 dollars what are my terms on that loan regarding 30 year 40 year 15 year it's a 30 year fix when was the loan originated 2005 Oh, I'm liking this, Quincy. I like this. So for my viewers, I just want you to understand how real estate investors, we can, we can, oh man, we can, it's like a time machine, Quincy. You're walking in to it. No, I hope you know where you're at. <laughs> yeah. You feel where you at, dog? We're getting ready to go. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is my first one, so I'm nervous. I'm trying to get everything, you know, so I, I'm, I, I have a good idea of where I am. Dude, you're walking back in time. You're walking freaking back in time. You're walking to a loan that was originated for in back in 2005. So this loan has has all this we call it interest. This is power pay down. They have paid down this loan. Now we're getting into the principal portion of the pay. This is why I love subject two. The house that I bought, the most recent one was originated back in 2008. So I stepped in, dog. Eight years after, you know, so you, you, all that principal has been paid. You don't even have to worry about it. So you only have a few years left on this loan, brother. You can own this thing free and clear soon. Yeah, well, it says that her, um, she got the loan, her loan, her original loan was 60000 She owes thirty four on it right now. She owes thirty four plus forty five, right? What do you mean? Plus forty five what? Her... Arrears is forty five hundred. Yeah, her arrears was forty five. Yeah, she owes thirty. You said it's thirty. What she owes? She owes thirty four thousand. Thirty four thousand. Yep. That's gonna be plus. Does that include the forty five hundred arrears or not including the forty five hundred arrears? I believe that is including the forty five hundred arrears. All right, so she owes. Let's just round it up. She owes thirty five thousand. How many bedrooms and bathrooms is this, Quincy? This is a three one. Damn, I'm just like. Where in the world can I live for 300? I had another one of these, dog, in Indiana. Y'all, good lord. So let's say the taxes are $120 a month, so that's three, four. So I'm calculating what your monthly outgo is going to be, okay, if you take this over. 340 is principal and interest, PI, Plus the taxes at 1400 a year divided by 12 is roughly $120. Plus insurance is going to be, let's say it's $50 a month. Is it in a flood zone or any other type of high risk zone? No. Okay, so you roughly your payment on this thing, your roughly is going to be $510. Mm-hmm. That's still, how, how many square feet is it? The square feet is 11, uh, about 1,200. Tell me the condition of this house, Quincy. She renovated everything. <laughs> yeah, she just <laughs> renovated everything. New kitchen, court, court, what is it? Not granite, uh, courts. Courts. Courts countertop, yeah, brand new appliances. Oh. She's, I mean, she said that she's upset that she has to let it go, but. She That's your problem. The entire thing. The roof was put on eight years ago. What's her story? Why? Why is she in these in this financial problem? She said that her she outlived her four hundred one k. She retired. Yes, she is retired. And she doesn't have a social security. She's live. She's that's what she's living on now. She said that her social security is less than two thousand dollars a month, but her entire four hundred one k is gone. Class, this is so important. I hear this every I hear this every day, but I want you to know, Quincy, that this this is why God, this is why I do this, man. I don't like seeing people in that situation. Yeah, me neither. 
Golly, man, I do not like this. Let's Poor see, thing. That's a, huh? I have to move on this fast because her house is being sold February 9th. I mean, you got, they're for, they're you got a month and a half. What makes you think you need to move on this so quickly? Say that one more time. February 9th, what makes you think you have to move on it so quickly? I didn't want it to sell or foreclose. You got 45 days, dog. So there's no, like, long process. I can get this done in, like, a week if I want it. You can, um, hold up. I thought you meant the – is there a foreclosure date coming? Yes. They're for, that's All right, that's February, February 9th. Now there's also an auction for her ta the tax uh, the sheriff's sale is August the the sheriff's sale is um August the third of two thousand and nineteen. All right, we need we need to be way done with that. I want to know about what's happening February nineteenth. That's when they're foreclosing. Okay, foreclosure date is February 9th. Yes. And is this a lead, just for my knowledge, is, it, is this a lead from a pre-foreclosure list or something? Yes. This just came from a pre-foreclosure listing. Oh, man, I thought you had to have this thing done by next. Golly. I, <laughs> I feel your urgency, brother. I feel your urgency, man. We want to get this thing locked down, yes. I Listen, Quincy, I deal with... People that are going into foreclosure tomorrow, dog. You know, and <laughs> that's where I live. This shit here, this could you could deal with this is the first of the year. Not saying we're gonna do that. Dog, I thought you called me up, Chris. I gotta do this today, right? The foreclosure is tomorrow. They they were telling me that I have to come up with the they were saying that she owes 2016, 17, she hasn't paid 18. So they're like, if you close next year, then you're going to have to pay the arrears for 2018 as well. All have to be done at the closing. No title company wants to do it. Today alone, before I called you, I called about 19 title companies. I'm sorry, repeat that. Uh, Chris, repeat that, please. <laughs> this is Morgan, man. I, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's, it's late <laughs> night. Say hello. Hello. I'm Morgan. This is Mr. Quincy. Mr. Quincy. Brother Quincy, all right. You said what now? I'm so coming. This morning, today, I called 15 title companies and about 10 attorneys, and all of them, they're not comfortable doing it. Can somebody what? close my door? They just walked out of my room. <laughs> Morgan? I'm sorry, Quincy, man. You got to deal with this after hours, dog. Taylor? Quit, Morgan, come, come, come shut my door. Oh, All right, no Santa. Close my door. Um, That could be true. The key word you said was title company, dog. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know attorneys that won't do this. So anyway, our main... Okay, what? Let me before we get to our action plan... What are you? What is your exit strategy? What is this house worth? This house is worth at at this current stage. It is seventy six thousand. Wow, man, seventy six thousand would be like a dump in my town. Yeah. And you are planning to do what with it, Quincy? Lease option. Are you going to take it over sub two? Dispose of it on lease option, so you're going to hold it. Yeah, I'm going to hold it for three years. So. Slam dunk, dog. I love it, man. I love it. So you're going to own it. You're going to own the house, but you're not going to own the loan. And then you're going to do a lease option, which means you'll do zero repairs. Correct? Correct. You're going to turn the house into a bank. All it does is take money. <laughs> Something breaks, don't call me. Yep. What is going to be your rent to your tenant buyer? The the market rent in this area is nine hundred and fifty for a three bedroom. I've seen some go up to a thousand, but none of them were none of them had upgrades like hers. They don't have an upgraded kitchen, nor do they have upgraded bathrooms like hers. So I can mm -hmm. probably get about a thousand. Well, let's just say I like I always like to be low. Let's just say nine fifty. Mm -hmm. Shit, let's just say nine hundred. So you're gonna be bringing in four hundred roughly a month cash flow. Yep. 
So if you put out, let's say you got to put 10, 10 out to buy it, you're going to get your money back in two years. No, you'll get it back with a three or $4,000 down payment. And then you'll get it, you'll, you'll have your money back in a year. Yep. Quincy, what I'm telling you, dude, is there are no other businesses where you get your money back that quickly. You with me? Mm -hmm. And you get to de depreciate it and you get the interest tax right off. Good God, I'm loving this one. Okay, what is our dilemma here? Where are you at? Where is the roadblock? Right now, the dilemma that I have is I'm trying to find someone to help me close it. Because this is my first one, I know I don't want to make too many mistakes and I want to do it the right way, but no one's doing it and I don't want to miss out on it and I'll end up trying to close it myself, you know, before I let this one go. I feel you on that. I love your hustle on that. I don't recommend it, but I love your hustle. <laughs> All right, so let's do this, man. I was going to just, I was going to recommend some stuff, but I'm going to go to my screen share. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to find somebody. Is that cool? Sure. Let me know when you see my screen. Yep, I see your screen. All right, class. Um... Sorry. Good Lord. All right. First thing I'm going to do is go to go to Meetup. Have you been to Meetup yet? No, I have not. All right. This, that's my little Meetup. I got a local Meetup. Class, what we're trying to do is find a local attorney that is going to close this deal for him because how many people have you talked to to close this thing and they won't do it? Probably over 30 today. Now, what did you ask them when you went in there? I said, I said hi, Quincy Williams. I was looking to see if you guys are familiar with subject two, closing subject two transaction. They said, Say that again. I said, hello, my name is Quincy Williams. I was uh, calling to see if you guys were familiar with closing subject two transaction. And what type of feedback did you get? I got from, you can't do that. You have to get the lender involved. We are not comfortable doing that. I've never heard of that. They said, <laughs> a lot of them said, let me speak to my manager. My managers have been closing deals for over 30 years. I get on the phone with the manager. They tell me I'm out of my mind and that this cannot happen at all. And that you have to, they said, we'll do it, but you need to get the lender's approval. Oh man, I love this. I love it. I told them, I said, hey, it's on subject. I said, it's on section 203 on the HUD one form. I said, have you guys even looked at it? They said, no, we haven't. Okay. So we just talking to the wrong people. What city is this? What city are you in? Duryea, D-U-R-Y-E-A. All right, let me share your screen. I'm gonna share my screen again. I was just gonna tell you to do this, but let's see, man. Let's, let's, let's put myself to the test, see if I know what I'm talking about. I like to be a practitioner, Duryea. Let me change this. Put a meetup, Pennsylvania. Looks like there are no Duryea real estate investing. So our dilemma is we got to find real estate in Duryea. The next town over is Pittston. I did 50 miles of Duryea. Spell that for me. P I T T. Wait, Piston? Yeah. P I T T S T O N. Damn, you ain't got nothing up there. Monthly meetup, Kalamazoo. Is that close to you? Hell no. We'll do 50, 10 miles. We couldn't find any match meetups. Are you in the country or something? Yeah, something like that. How about Wooks Bear? How far is that? That's good. That's about a half hour. All right, so we're going to drive up there. Okay, look, we got people, party people right here. Let's go ahead and join this group. They have a new meetup coming up January 22nd. We're going to, well, I'm not going to attend it, but you're going to join that group. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reach out to our host, Joanna. Let's message Joanna. 
Hey, Joanna. Thanks for having this group. I have a question about a good local attorney that may close a subject to deal. Can you assist me in a referral or can I call to discuss? Thanks, Chris. All right, so we'll we see what she says. And you can do that too, dog. I mean, I took you all the time. All right, next place I'm going is Bigger Pockets. And you can search, go back to meetups on your, at your leisure. I'm just kind of showing you what, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Bigger Pockets, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a search. So we're saying wilkes Barre is the most. Yeah, that, that would be like that, the Philadelphia of this area. All right, wilkes Barre. Let's see what we got. Here we go right here, look at this. Doing assignment subject to when buyer has liens. I mean, it's right here. So this looks like they might be in your town. That's an attorney? I don't know, let's see. I don't see anything here. We'll keep going. Spell Wilkes Bear for me. W I L K S B A R E, I believe. One R? I believe it's two R's. These are old ones here. Little forms. All right, so I'm gonna go here and put a form out. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a discussion. Are you on bigger pockets? No, I will be after tonight though. I'll recommend. Really with Q and A. Just do Q and A, bro. Write your post. A B T. Looking for a attorney and Wilkes. I don't even know how to spell it. Wilkes. There. PA to assist in closing a subject to to deal. Anybody got a recommendation? Let me make sure I'm spelling this right. I don't even know. Wilkes. You got me outside of my. I've been to Wilkes Bear too. Because <laughs> we used to go up there and go to uh, Pope and the Mountains, go ski. I'm not skiing. I wasn't skiing. Shit. <laughs> That spell it right? W I L K. Yeah, I did it right. Okay. So this is gonna pop up. It's gonna take a day or so for people to stop um to start. Closing the attorney and will their PA. Go to BP. I, man, this is where I go for all my stuff out of state because I'm not a I don't have I don't have connections in every state. Obviously, if you were here, man, I could give you somebody right on the joint. But <clears throat> those meet up, man. As you and do you want do you, one more one more thing? Do you have a local state investing group in your area? Yes, but I mean, I go to I go to their seminars every month. They're not 
they're not familiar with subject two or anything. There there are a lot of like sixty year olds who just do traditional um rent. I don't believe that foolishness. Let me look. R E I A. What county do you go for your rear? Allentown area. I'm not sure what county that's in. Allentown, PA? Yep. Lehigh Valley? Correct. Okay, look at this dude. You got a hundred I mean you got sixteen hundred members. How come we didn't pull this up? That's a good idea. All right, so we got to, what I recommend for you, man, we could do this all night. Go to Meetup, dog. Mm -hmm. Scroll down all these meetups that are close to where you are. Where you are. Let's see when their next meetup is. January 10th. So we got time. Not saying that we want to wait that long, but I would go here, join the group, and then see this organizer right here? Mm -hmm. Click it, send her an email, dog. And then go down to the next one. Uh-oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, my brother. Brother Quincy, I love your hustle. <laughs> I love it. Go down to the next one, Quincy. Huh? I have a question. So this might sound weird, but I don't know if I can do it. What if I had her put her property in a land trust and then her then she sell me the land trust. You can do that, but you're not getting any title insurance, brother. You see there're two I, I, you know if you watch any of my videos, I'm real I'm real I'm real big on doing it this way or that way. Mm -hmm. There's always a fence. When you got a deal like this, okay, on the left side, we got we got deals that you don't care if you lose it. It's got no equity. You got no cash flow. You're getting a small down payment. Doesn't matter if you lose the house or not. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's one side. But on the other side, you got a house that has equity, good condition. Like, and, and no, let me, let me go back to the left side of the fence. It's in bad condition. You have a good condition house. Monthly payment is smoking. You got cash flow. You're going to be able to get a down payment because of the condition. And you got equity, dog. I don't want you to lose that. So you need to get title insurance. You will not be able to get title insurance if she transfers the beneficial interest over from your trust. But no because title. all you're all you're doing is huh? But no title insurance company is is I mean no title company was insuring it. They didn't even want anything to do with it. Yeah, the ones you talked to. Remember, I was telling you it took me about five years for me to find somebody that did it in my area. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to fast forward you. We're going to fast forward. We're going to get it done, dog. I mean, all it is is the right person. But no, nah, I don't want this one. You need to do it right. Yes, you can go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Sonya. Facebook pages, dude. Yeah. Go to your Rias. Go to REIA on Facebook, too. Look for those groups in your town. Sonya, that's a great. See, I'm so glad we got this thing. You need to find, go to your local. Go to Facebook. Go to um, whatever. They have a, I don't know what whatever it's called. The, 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 Groups, Facebook groups. You don't want to put the, if you transfer this in a land trust and then you take over that land trust, uh, you, know, you know, if something happens, dog, and you go sell this thing in 10 years and they're like, well, the lady has a $100,000 judgment against her. You're stuck. Mm. Right? Even if I'm the, the. What? What if I had done the title search and everything came back? clean if you personally do it yeah i don't trust you i don't trust me come in give me a few seconds i'll be done we're going to we're going to see santa claus tonight or no okay we go tomorrow quincy you need to do a title search you need to pay somebody with errors and omissions they're going to do a title search. So if they screw up, you can sue them. You don't want to put yourself in that. You can do a preliminary title search, but we don't want to close this out based on your search. You know, you're not a you don't have errors and omissions. Nope. Like we can do a prelim. I, I always do a prelim on my on my own, but I don't want you doing that. Mm -hmm. Now, if worst case scenario. To close a um, deal, where would I get the closing documents? 
Do you have the documents? Like those, when you, those are closing documents. That's it. It's not like a bunch of paperwork like I did when I bought my house. Now don't forget. Yeah, now your your mind is going back. Oh Lord, I'm my stomach. <laughs> my stomach's hurting, Quincy. Your mind is going back to tr the traditional, conventional way of closing a deal. Those those documents that you signed when you bought your house with a loan, those are all lender docs. They've already been signed by your seller. <laughs> so when you're going to go down to the courthouse, you're going to pull that deed of trust, which I keep mine right. I'll show you. I keep my deeds of trust right here. So you want to you're going to keep that deed of trust, right? Deed of, that one that looks with that small writing like that. You're going to go get your get the copy of that deed of trust so you're going to have it in your file. But you ain't do you you are the man you yeah you got to start thinking and I'm not I'm not mad at you man I'm just speaking emphatically. You got to start thinking like uh, you're the owner man. When this shit goes down, when you go walk up in the closing, I am the buyer. I, I control this. All these documents, you're going to give your documents to the attorney. The attorney's going to sit because the attorney's not going to create these documents. You're going to give them to the attorney. He's going to explain them to the seller. So in ten in three or four years, when the seller when the seller gets amnesia and she find and she gets mad at you for taking over her house that she just put eight thousand dollars in and renovating it, she can't come back and sue you. Mm -hmm. You got me. But our first thing, Quincy, we need to find, like, I think you might be speculating too much. We got to find an attorney, dog. First thing we need to do is get on Facebook. Sierra saying get on Craigslist. Yeah, man, do a search. Throw an ad on Craigslist, brother, and put an ad. I would just keep going on Facebook. Anybody know the title? I help you too, man. Title company or attorney, because a title company will be able to refer you to an attorney, because you don't want a title company closing this one. You want an attorney. Okay. And don't even get in your mind. You ain't. Please don't close this one yourself, man. You can. You, you don't want to do that, man. <laughs> it's just everyone, every every attorney or title company that I speak to, they all say that they, that if there's back taxes, they don't want anything to do with it. They want those back taxes paid. You know what? Everyone that I've ever done, they said the same thing. They want the back taxes paid. Yeah, that's what they're. That's what they're paid to do. And that's when you say, you know what? Matter of fact, why don't I scan one of my HUDs and show you where we took over a house with some back taxes paid? I mean, I, I, you could say, hey, listen, we've done it before. I need you to do this right here. Matter of fact, I'll send you one of my HUDs where we took over the loan subject too, and you can show them, listen, can you do this? But then, didn't you already show them a HUD? I told them, well, no, they said that they were familiar with the HUD. So I said, well, have you guys seen section 203? And they were just like, no. And I said, well, then why did you tell me that it can't be done if you haven't even seen it on the the HUD one form. You see, what I started realizing, they were saying they were getting into that they've been into real estate for thirty years, and then they don't, you know, they don't want to sound ignorant, but you know, they just discredit it. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. See, you're walking a, a thin line of knowing just enough to be dangerous, Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> Quizzy, you can walk in a thin line. You're gonna go up in there, somebody's gonna push a red button on you, dog. <laughs> All right. So our first step is finding somebody, man. You need to blast out some ads. And second step is relax. You got a month and a half. Did you get did she sign the contract? The contract. I have the you mean the 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 release? No, has she signed the contract agreeing to sell you the house? No, I thought that that had to be done in front of an attorney. To just sign a contract? No. Oh, I could do that tomorrow. You need to get that contract signed. You need to get in the car right now. What time is it? Man, she. Because guess what? Guess who's knocking at her door in the morning? Say it again? Guess who's knocking at her door to get a contract signed tomorrow? Me. The next guy. <laughs> The next guy. You gotta get over there, dog. You got the subject two contract, right? Sure do. Man, get type it in, pull put down there. So right on the line where it says subject two, approximate loan balance. And just leave it alone and roll with it, dog. Wait, what do you mean? You got the subject two contract, just change it to your stuff. 
Okay. You got that. All right. So we done, man. What I mean, what I mean, relax, man. I got a whole bunch of other coaching clients. You guys are that you got this thing in your head that is gonna it's something's gonna blow up. And I promise you, man, it's no big deal, dude. You, we gotta find somebody. It took me five years, brother. Hear me out, man. Five years to find people that know how to do this, you know, because first of all, I didn't even know what to ask. You do. And what I can do is email you a list of questions you can ask them. And I'm going to give you a copy of my HUD. And don't even ask them. Just say, listen, can you show them? I'm going to give you a HUD, dog. Go in there and be like, listen, we closed these type of deals before. Can you show me? Can you do a deal where you put the loan subject to on a HUD? And just be quiet, man. You know, don't make them feel. You might be making them feel like they're uh, inferior a little bit, my brother. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know how else because they were asking for an explanation and then they're saying like a mortgage assumption and I'm like it's it is but it isn't you know I'm not and they're like well you're gonna have to get in contact with the lender it's not your job to explain how this works either they know it already or they don't you're not gonna there's no way in the next 30 days you're gonna explain an attorney how to do this either they've done it or they haven't okay so we need to find an attorney that's done this and they have to obviously be in Pennsylvania well, they don't have to be there, but they need to be licensed. I don't care if they're in Florida, as long as they're licensed in Pennsylvania. Okay. So that's Which they're probably... Shamel says, that's a good point. Thank you. I'm so glad. Shamel's like, why don't you just call somebody in Philly? I mean, they got to have them everywhere there. Now, if I call someone in Philly, will they be able to... Would, would me and the seller have to drive down to Philly? Nope. You can do everything via DocuSign. And FedEx. And what we do, when we, this is a great point, man. This is worth the price of admission. Dude, all you have to do is get a, something called a mobile notary. I've done deals with people in wheelchairs incapacitated. We got the notary comes over there with all the documents. And the attorney, if you got a good attorney, you can give him 100 bucks. He'll go to the house and close it for you. That's what I meant when I said I wanted to close it myself. I didn't mean, you know, it being myself, I could get a mobile notary and get this done. Those documents that I um got from you. Nah, man, don't don't do that, though. <laughs> I would say once again, don't forget my little fence here. I always like to make it white or black. House over here, no equity, ugly, no cash flow. Um, you're getting a small down payment, bad area. Yours. You got everything. Equity, cash flow. You can get a down payment. Needs no work. I mean, come on, man. I, don't, I want you locked and loaded over here. You don't got to work. If, any, if the seller, I promise you, I had a client. Seller came back. He stole my house. That, what's going to happen is as soon as you close it yourself, they're going to say, Quincy, you're a shady investor. You're out here stealing old ladies. You know, this is somebody's grandma, dog. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's grandmother. Yeah. You stole my house, and then what happens is when that happens, and it will, you call up your attorney. You say, Mr. Adams, I need you to send a letter to these people telling them exactly what they agreed to do. And when that attorney sends that letter, whoever is representing the – I can't see you anymore. Oh, That's a good picture. Thanks. Oh man, look at this. Chris, what up? Chris, thank you, dog. You know what I mean? See? Chris just did his with a mobile notary in St. Louis. He paid $175 for a mobile no mobile notary. I'm telling you, mobile notary, Chris, Chris, we're gonna get you on the show. And you're saying to me not to do that. What'd you say, Quincy? And don't do the mobile notary. No, I don't know. Chris, I don't know how he closed his. I don't know the whole story. But for you, no, nah, man, you need to get an attorney, dog. Just go to, I think that's a good point. With a uh, luxury car store says in Philly, they're overrun with attorneys. attorneys. <laughs> Let me see if we got any other suggestions here, bro. St. Pete, what up, Jay? Hey, Tamara's here. Karina, what up? Oh, Jorge, what up, what up? Norfolk Killer. Probably talk to the special commissioner on doing the tax lien. You're, you, you, you're not going to get a discount on the taxes. You can't get a discount. I don't want to say can't. 
But the reason they don't give you a discount typically on taxes, Quincy, is because the taxes come before the first mortgage. Mm -hmm. So even if the first mortgage forecloses on it, still got to pay those taxes. Okay. And you can take over, dude, I have bought houses with judgments, liens, mortgages. I mean, you're taking it all. That's what you're doing. You're buying it subject to all the crap that comes along with it. You're going to sign a piece of paper that says, I agree that I'm buying this house subject to, and the title insurance is going to be like, the title insurance will cover you because they're going to let, they're going to label it something called an exception. They're going to say, I'm going to protect Quincy other than these taxes and this mortgage on there, you know, so you'll be covered, brother. We do it every day. Shamel says, yeah, you get the benefit of 14 years. Go ahead. Quincy, you got another question? I mean, anything else? I'm thinking, um, Celeste, what up? Kelly in Oregon. So once I get an attorney, I can say, okay, I just want to, I want to close this deal. I don't have to bring, I guess I would just only pay for the closing costs. I wouldn't have to pay for a mortgage or anything or the back tax or anything at the closing. That can be right after I take ownership to the property. You can buy Quincy and never pay the mortgage if you want. I mean, you can just, they'll foreclose on it eventually. But you don't have to do nothing. You're buying it, dude. You're buying it subject to all the crap. You got me? Mm -hmm. Now, question, as far as the um, land trust goes, I called, I'm listening. I called the huh? I'm listening. I called the courthouse this morning and I asked them like what would I need to do to um set up the land trust. I told them I have the that um I can get the documents and they said that I have to own the property first. But it kind of confused me because it's like, well, do I own the property at the closing? But then it's like I don't want to own the property at the closing because I don't want the lender to see that I own it. I want it to go from the seller to the land trust. Or will it have to be a double closing, or am I making this complicated? No, nah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna deed the house into the land trust, right? You're gonna let the attorney. Um, you have my deed, but let the attorney create your own deed. Let them do the deed. Let them get paid for what you're paying for. Let the turn. Let the attorney create the deed for your trust. So your question is, it goes from Mrs. Smith into Quincy Trust, whatever you're gonna call it, right? Mm -hmm. From the seller, they're gonna be deeding it into the trust, you're the beneficiary of the trust. You got your trustee already? Yeah, <laughs> it's not me either. Yeah, I don't even wanna know who it is. I don't even want the public to know. So, yeah, you can't deed a house until you own it, brother, but the attorney's gonna handle all that. The, the, the courthouse, okay, when you think in your mind what a courthouse is, all it is is a storage for documents, for public record. They're not gonna advise you on anything. They don't know how. All they do is record. So when you buy a house, right? You got your deed, right? You go down to the courthouse, they record that deed, and then they send you the original. They're putting it on public notice. So when somebody says, let's see who owns 123 Easy Street, they don't have to find you, see who owns it. They can go to the courthouse and see who owns it. You got me? Mm -hmm. It's just a storage place for public documents. That's it, dog. That's it. So let me, ask, huh? I want to make sure I understand what you're saying as far as the land trust goes. So once I have the attorney there, I'll let the attorney know at the closing, I want this property deeded into. Now, I would already have that trust set up. Yeah, you have the land trust, right? But that's what I'm saying. They said that I needed a pro. They needed I needed the deed in order to. They said I need land to own a land trust. Yeah, you do. Do you have the land trust? Do you, OK, do you have a land trust agreement? Did, did you buy that from me? Not yet, no. Oh, Lord, you've got some missing pieces to the puzzle, dog. I plan on putting all the pieces together. I just wanted to make sure I understood them first. <laughs> okay. you got to have a trust agreement, which designates who the trustee is, the property going into the trust, and who the owner of the trust is, which is you or your company or whoever you want. So... Agreement uh, is the Okay, keep keep going, keep walking me through it. Once the trust agreement is set up, then what? The trust agreement is a shit, man. Hold tight. Good God, I'm missing Santa Claus time messing with y'all, man. Uh, 
Let me see. Okay. I hope y'all are getting this. Y'all better be thinking, you know, taking time out of my... Quincy, you got good questions, dog. Oh, while it's on my mind. Is it illegal if I put the trust in her last name? Nah, I would recommend you to do that. I like, I can put my house in the... I can put my house... What's your last name? Williams? Yeah. Do you know you, I can put my house in the Quincy Williams Trust? But I remember you mentioning something about fraud, but you didn't really go into it in the video. You said you don't want to get into nothing like fraudulent. No, I used to always do that. I don't do that anymore. Golly. Folks, I don't move. I'm getting... I hope you guys are appreciating this. Because we are really rocking and rolling tonight. We're training tonight. Shit, man. Let me just do that. I'm going to share my screen one more time. I can't even find. Golly. Let me share my screen. I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to show you what you, a, a trust agreement looks like. All right, class. I hope y'all are appreciating this. You see my um desktop? Yes. Let me just see. Good Lord. How many of these joints have I done? Salem. I'm coming. All right, here's a land trust. You see that? Mm -hmm. So here's a land trust. This is what you need, a land trust agreement. You see here? A land trust agreement, dog. The joint is, uh, how many pages is it? It's nine pages. So we got, oh, let me zoom in. We got the property. We'll show you that. It'll show you the beneficiaries here. That's who owns it. That's going to be your name there. I happen to have my IRA on some of this stuff. We do deals in my IRA. I do deals in my children's IRAs, right? This is my trustees, I mean, my beneficiaries. And the last page shows you who the owners are, Chris Haskins. And the first page shows you the trustee, the name of the trust. So I'm not going to get too deep into that because I don't want to just list stuff I did a long time ago. But this document here, the land trust agreement. Quincy, the land trust agreement stays in your file cabinet. Nobody sees it, but you have to give it to the attorney so he can draft the deed. You can't go in there and be like, yeah, Mr. Attorney, I want you to make a trust with the trustee gonna be Joe Blow, and then the beneficiary is Quincy. He gonna look at you like you crazy. Okay, so that's <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So you gotta have this. Have it. Does that come to the closing? Yeah, you give that to the title company. I mean, I, I mean, I, yes, you got you. He can give you one for a thousand dollars, and you can buy mine. So do whatever you want. I don't care. But just get a. You gotta have a trust, a land trust agreement. It, all it does, it sits in your file. It goes right in your file cabinet. And I can't tell you the last time I read one. All they're gonna do is look at it and be like, "Who's the trustee?" Who's the beneficiary? I don't even keep copies of them anymore. Do I need the uh, seller to do anything with that land trust? What'd you say? Does the seller need to sign anything in that document? No. Let me see if I got mine. So they just stay, they stay in the file. They stay in the file. You got me? You close the file, you like this, it's over. Nobody's going to know who the beneficiary is. But you have to give that land trust to your attorney so he can draft up a deed. Remember, you need a deed because she's going to deed the house from the from the seller into the trust. Okay. Because so you don't want her to deed it into your name, dude. We don't take ownership of houses in our names. Yeah, no. Right? Mm-hmm. 
So you need a land trust agreement, dog. You gotta have that before you even, but first you need to, you need to get the contract signed so you can give that to whatever attorney you hire. I don't need a notary or anything for that. I'll just have to fill that out. Well, if I was you, I, you know, I've got a system. Every contract we get signed, we get the deal insurance signed, right? The memorandum of agreement, you get that notarized. So if she says next week, she says, you know what? That dang old Quincy, he got a good deal. I don't want to sell my house to that Quincy no more. <laughs> and then you can say, you know what? I've got my deal insurance because I got it signed. You have to sell me your house. I'm telling you, man, I can show you. You want to see a copy of one of those, too? Yeah. You need to, um, I, you didn't get that? I'll tell you what I got. I got, the, I got the CYA. That's on the subject, too. That has nothing to do with uh, deal insurance. So, no, you didn't, I didn't get those. I'll Good buy God. Them. You got me working tonight. So, you need to get your memory. You need to, you know, you know I'm, I'm sorry, you don't need. You do it how you want to, man. I know how. I have one way I do it. Contract, deal insurance, memorandum of, of agreement because sellers, they back out of deals. You know, I don't want people backing out of my deals. We don't, people don't back out of my deals. You, you can't because once we get the deal insurance signed, we're recording that at the courthouse. So when something blows up or they say, that Chris, you know, I didn't like his hair. <laughs> I'm telling you, this shit happens, Quincy. You said contract. Deal insurance and memorandum of what? The deal insurance is the memorandum of contract. The deal and insurance I'll, and the memorandum of contract are the same thing. Same thing, yeah. I'll put a link if you want to get it. I'll put a link in here to get it. You gotta have it, man. I mean, I only charge like thirty bucks for that. Okay, I didn't. I didn't listen. This was the first time I ever heard about it. So your deal insurance? Yeah, all of that, all three of them. I mean, I have the contract. That's the agreement of sale that I have, right? I don't know which one you have. Do you have a subject to contract? Yes. You gotta have that. I do have that. So that I can have her sign that tomorrow. I have her sign the deal insurance tomorrow, and um, which is the memorandum. So just two things that I would need her to sign tomorrow. I would. All right. Because you get those two things because the, the attorney doesn't. Attorneys and title companies they don't do verbal. They're gonna you're gonna turn that contract in, dude. They're gonna read it. They're gonna say, okay, Quincy title. I mean, Quincy Land Trust is buying this house from Mrs. Smith. Let's go do a title search. Let's go. They're going to look at your contract. They're not going to do what you ask them to do. Oh, shit. That's why, yo, I sent them the I sent them the contract that you sent me, and they were like, this contract has Virginia in it. They were like, one, two, three, Main Street. Yeah, you got to put the freaking address. <laughs> yeah, I put that up. <laughs> it's all making sense. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> Class. If you got my documents, make sure you change and put your address on the contract. <laughs> Chrissy, man, what you smoking, dog? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Houston, what up? JW Method. Beezer. Hey, Beezer's here. Jesse, you want to work me? Okay, yeah, cool. Just shoot me an email. Okay, so I can buy the... That subject to contract, that, that would need to be notarized. Both of these documents need to be notarized, right? Only thing needs to be notarized is your deal insurance. Yeah, sure. And I'm here to tell you, I personally created deal insurance because I got sick and tired of buyers like your your grandma that's selling you this house. Mm -hmm. What happens is, man, you get this sweet deal on the contract, right? Smoke mm -hmm. like this, this deal here. And then New Year's, New Year's Day, she goes, well, I don't know about that, Quincy. I, don't, I decided not to sell. Now, what happens if she says that? With the, what does the insurance do? The deal insurance, you get her to notar get it notarized. If she backs out or starts getting squeamish, you have, you have that recorded at the courthouse. And then when somebody, when she tries to sell it to somebody else, they're gonna, it, show, it pops up and they say, hey, I need to call Quincy before I do anything. He already has a, a contract signed with Miss Smith, Granny Smith. Oh, you got to, I don't like I'm you know what's weird? I advise people all around the country, right? And every time they don't get the deal insurance signed, they call me up. They say, Chris, I got a seller that won't return my calls. Wow. 
I'm like, this shit. It happened to me about seven times, Quincy, before I decided I hired two attorneys. <clears throat> we created this notary back in 2005. I got sick and tired of sellers bringing back another deal. I'm sick of it. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm done. Okay, so I'll get the um, I'll get the memorandum and I'll get the deal insurance tonight, and then tomorrow I'll just go online and look for a mobile notary. Mm, well, make sure she's home and go over there. Be, when you when you get when you take your contract over there, we're not we don't call it a contract. You're gonna say, Miss Smith, I need to come by for you to authorize or or okay the paperwork. <laughs> okay, the paperwork. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? What are you laughing at? It's a funny way to put it. To, to okay the paperwork. She signed Come on, paperwork. dog. I'm a veteran. <laughs> we don't get nobody to sign. We never get. We never get anybody to sign a contract. Okay. Always, Miss Smith. I'm just you're just a regular guy. I need you to come. I need to drop by so we can okay the paperwork. Is that okay? Go by there. Get her to sign the contract. And then get her to sign that memorandum, and you record. You get the memorandum or the yeah. Celeste, thank you. Affidavit of understanding. You'll get both of them. I think it's thirty bucks. Um, you get both of those, and you need to have them notarized, and you sign it right on the spot, dog. Get it done. Don't waver, man. Dude, this is fifteen years of of people backing out of deals. <laughs> All right. So again, the All right. sale and that memorandum are gonna. Yep. Okay. Oh, Chris used the docs last week. It works. Okay, Chris. So he's used the docs work. I mean, I know them shits work. I've been using them shits for ten years. You know, I sent the I sent the attorney that I tried to use. I sent him your documents, and he was saying, "Well, I'm gonna want to just rewrite it because there's some verbiage missing." Of course, that's what they do. Let him do it. He wants to number one. He's a man, no doubt, a man or a female. Man. Okay, so let, let me repeat what you're saying. You sent your docs to the attorney. He wants to rewrite them and add his touch. I don't mind with that. He wants to make them specific to your state, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Let him rewrite it, man. Let him rewrite it. And number two, he's got to charge you for something. If you got everything when you show up at closing, what is he going to charge you for? Yeah. Chris, you're an owner, dog. You're an owner, man. This is what we do, man. We close deals. You know, We don't worry about, you know, if people don't understand it, next. We on to the next. What else you got, man? I'm gone. <laughs> All right, I think I got everything. So just, just to make sure to, I'm get tomorrow. I'm gonna get that agreement of sale signed, the agreement to sell signed, the memorandum that has to get notarized, and then I'm gonna go on um <clears throat> meet up Craigslist, Bigger Pockets to see if I can get an attorney. Once I get an attorney, I can work on close. Now I won't need. All I would need is the closing cost money to close the deal. I don't need to pay the mortgage. I don't need to pay the back taxes. I'm taking all of that subject to anyway. So I would just need the closing cost to get this done. Are you telling me or asking me? I'm telling you. Okay. Well, you got it. <laughs> I mean, you got it. That's what you're saying. Yeah, what you, I mean, you want me to agree with that or say no? I mean, what do you think? It all depends, man. It all depends. Like, all right, I got another one. That this happened in Indiana. Like right now, you're in June, July, August, September. Okay, when, when this you're six months behind, right? Mm -hmm. So my gut is telling me that your this loan has popped up on somebody's radar somewhere, right? A, a lender's radar somewhere. Would we agree to that? Yes. If you got a loan that's six months not being paid, it's on somebody's desk somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So. You didn't ask, you know, do you want to, okay, I need you to ask me because I'm not going to tell you what I would do if you don't ask me what I would do. Yeah, yeah. What would you do? <laughs> Being that this is such a smoking deal, I would want to put some type of payment on that rate, on those arrears. But if they, if there is a foreclosure, now this is a foreclosure date, right? Not a tax sale date. There's two of them, but the tax sale is in August. So we got a foreclosure date from the lender. Yes, February. That means you probably need to go ahead and pay all those arrears, man. Because you might not be able to stop that foreclosure unless you pay all the arrears up. Yeah, that's what or, they said. But I, I thought I wasn't going to come out of pocket until that was in my name. 
Well, you do all that at closing. At the time when you buy the house, you're going to bring the 4500 The attorney is going to mail that 4500 to the lender. They're going to reinstate the loan because right now it's in default. Got me? Mm-hmm. It's headed to foreclosure. Or you can just take it over. I mean, so many ways. We can do a self-filing bankruptcy, stop it, rearrange the debt. I mean, so many things, man. But I'm just trying to make it simple for you. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do then. I mean, if we can get this, I guess I just gotta get, I gotta have everything come together because I'm, I'm all over the place. So speculate. What? No, you can speculate. I got so many. Uh, you remind me of a lot of my, of my other guys. You can speculate your way up out of here, dog. <laughs> yeah, no. Get those two things signed. Take one step. Get the contract and a memorandum signed tomorrow. Because tomorrow you might call her. She might not even like you anymore. Yeah, that's true. Right? I mean, we don't know. She may. She said she wanted a hearing aid. I think I, I'm going to get that for for Christmas. That's a good move, man. Good move, Chris. See what she wants. Listen to her, what she wants. Man, I'm telling you, man, I've taken people to dinner. I've given them gift cards. I've been in their vacant houses and cleaned up, got all their pictures of their family and FedEx. Their, you know, I mean, just listen to what. What are hot buttons are? Is it, you know, maybe it's his children somewhere or a hearing aid is a, that's a good one, dog. Yeah, that's what she wants. So I was going to get that for Christmas. So I'll get that. So now to get the public notary, I would just have to, uh, I mean, the mobile notary, I would just call mobile notaries in the area and say, hey, can you meet me here? Mobile notary, just go to, I think it's 123notary.com or ABC notary. One of the, I, I can't remember. It's one of the two. You're going to have a whole list of them. Just tell them your name. My name is uh, Quincy. I just want to know if you can meet me at 123 Easy Street. I want you to notarize one document. You're going to email that document to them. They'll print it out or they'll look at it and they'll say, well, I want you to bring it with with you to bring it with you to the signing. And usually you should only have to pay 15 to 20 bucks, but I don't know what they charge around your part of town. Okay. And then that's what I do. So that's the the. the the memorandum that's basically the deed insurance and then the, the contract Deal. That's the, the agreement. You got car insurance in case you get into an accident. You got house insurance in case your car falls if your house burns down. And you got deal insurance just in case if your buyer tries to back out. Yes. <laughs> so. Okay. That's what's so okay. So that's what's gonna be next. And then that once I get all that situated now it's time to find an attorney to close this. I would. I would. You need to be up tonight doing this. Email him. Yo, I need an attorney. Bam, and sliding them out. And you need to ask him, do you do real estate closings? You need to tell them, I buy and sell houses subject, owner financing, lease options subject to. Can you do these? I just got the script from Ron LeGram, man. The dude just went over it with me two weeks ago. So you're, okay, were you emailing that to me or do you sell those? What? What you, what you were just reading. What to ask? I'm telling you now, you can't remember this. That you got from on the ground? It says, look at this, I'm literally reading from you. Can't find an attorney? He just went over this with me. <laughs> First question, wow. do you do real estate closings, Mr. Attorney? Second question, I mean, your next statement, I buy and sell houses, owner financing, lease option subject to, can you do all of these? And just shut up. Question three. I like to see if I get a fixed fee, a flat fee on doing these. Sometimes I'll be paying my buyer. Sometimes my buyer will pay. The only docs you'll be preparing are the owner. You're not even doing owner financing, but you're going to bring all the docs in and let the attorney do it. I mean, and this is, I would tell you to do the same thing, brother. You, yeah, but it's, you're going to have to take some time. You want the, um, you want me to put, does anybody want the deal insurance stuff? I can put that in the video description here if you want. Ultimate Vargas, what up, dog? Yes, Ultimate Vargas says use the make sure the attorney has reviewed the docs for proper form and content. Yeah, that is very, very true. Do you need the deal insurance, Chris, or you're not going to use it? I mean, not Chris. I mean, uh, Quincy. You said yes. I'm, I'm... All right. Bye. Well, I need it tonight, but I got done. Can I go down some questions, Quincy? Or are you gone? Um, just to just to recap, I just want to make. Oh sure my lord! You, you go add. You go. You go. 
I got it written down. Just to make sure. Contract, um, deed insurance, that's tomorrow. After that, get the attorney. Once I get the attorney, um, <clears throat> ask the necessary questions. Once they agree to do this, um, once they agree to do the closing, we can just close the deal there. Yes, but once they agree to do it, then you're doing your title search to see what all the crap you're going to have to clean up when you buy this house. Yeah, that's what I have. Okay, it's not as complicated as I thought. And then I'll be Yeah, see, your, your, your thing is you're just like everybody else. Up here, you got this nightmare going on that you think the bank's going to just show up at closing like... <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. So, yeah, it seems pretty simple. It's going to be the easiest closing you've ever done. The one you did for your house was going to be the hardest. That I agree. I'm going to say... Almost- Huh? I'm gonna search bigger pro- now. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna um email you after a week. I'm probably gonna go through every attorney in this state, and we'll see. You know what happens to see if I can find somebody. Man, it's gonna take some time. But the people in your real let me do this so I, I don't mess this up. Class, I'm gonna go ahead and put my deal insurance document if you need it. I'll I'll give it to you now. Here, I don't I don't really. You're going to go through some, Chris, but just talk to him. And you know what's weird, man? What, if I were you, dog, I would drive around, look for the guys that are doing rehabs. Hold on a second. Okay, I'll put the deal insurance link in the description of the video here. Chris, go drive around, see who's doing rehabs, knock on the door, man. Be like, listen, I need an attorney that close a deal for me. Let's see what they say. Don't be afraid to go out there, man, and drive around, see who's renovating. Are people renovating houses in your t- around that house? Yeah, they are. And carry your butt out there, man, and do the work. Don't be scared of the work, brother. They're out there. Okay. You're not nervous about doing that, are you? I'm nervous about anything. I'm just, I'm eager. Anxious, you anxious, but this is gonna be this deal is not gonna close till middle of January, man. Why is that? Why, why is it? Why can't I, you know, first of all, where is Miss Where is Miss Granny Smith moving to down the street to her daughter's house? So she's already got a place to go. Yeah, we were talking about that. I got her mentally out of that house. She's moving in oh. with her grandchildren. <laughs> now, where did you learn that one? That say that again. What did you learn to get her mentally out of the house regarding the, the programming? Where did I learn that? I got that from your um the deal you did with the uh with the one guy who was losing his house, the one subject okay. to. Okay, cool. Yeah, we want him. We, so she's going out of the house. She's got a place to go. When is she going there? She's going. She says she can leave in a month. Okay, so she she can't even leave to the end of January. So we got we closed January fifteenth, and then she's out into January. Is that where we're at? Yep. Yeah, okay. That's, that, did I just... <laughs> Quincy, yeah, this is a slow deal. First, when, when, once you find an attorney, then you have to turn in the documents, right? It's going to take them a week and a half to do a title search because they're closed next week. They might not even... I mean, the courthouse, ain't nobody thinking about your little deal? <laughs> <laughs> now, the documents that you're talking about, that's also... That's going to be the... Um... That's also the land trust document too, right? No, I. Uh, that's a separate thing. I mean, I paid a thousand dollars for mine, dog. You know, I mean, if you want that, I can send you a link for that too. The land trust documents. You got to have a land trust agreement. that's nine pages. Okay, the land trust agreement. And then- I mean, I'll give it to you for a uh, hundred fifty bucks. I mean, that's. I'll give you a link for that if something you want, man. I'm not, dude. I'm not like selling stuff, man. I mean, I, this is the stuff that I just use, Chris. I paid for it. I've sat down with attorneys and had this stuff drafted up. Okay. I got to say something about Chris. Chris, subject two, you said not to get, they say not to get title insurance. It all depends, Chris. It all depends, dog. For you, Quincy, I want you to have title insurance. This deal is so good. What's, what happens in eight years when you go to sell this thing and they say, you there, Quincy? Yeah, I'm here. 
title insurance, what happens in eight years when you go to sell this house and they say, well, you know what? We missed this $100,000 judgment that Granny Smith had against your house. And you don't have title insurance to wipe it out. You're stuck with that house for another 40 years trying to pay that judgment off. You with me? Wow. That's why we get a person that has errors and om E and O, errors and omissions insurance. And they give you title insurance based on that insurance that they pay for, brother. But Chris, I want you to now you don't need title insurance if there's if the house is ugly, if it's got no equity, no cash flow, you're not getting the big down payment, and you don't care whether you lose that. I don't care. I mean, I'll close it down. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll close. If the house is on this side of the fence, I'll go to your house and get you to sign the deed on the kitchen table because I don't care if I lose anything. I mean, I have nothing to lose. But on your instance, you got something to lose. <laughs> okay. The attorney that I'm talking to right now, they don't know. They never said that they couldn't do it, but they never said that they could. He said that he would look over the documents and redo them. But I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. He told me to just email him exactly what it is that I'm doing. Subject email them, you know, tell them you're buying a house subject to the existing loan and judgments and liens and taxes <laughs> all that it'd be like can you do it you know and just be if you can't do it like night thing well you know see if you can refer somebody because i've had i've had to do that too i've got an attorney do three blocks down from my house that will not do subject to been in the business since the 90s won't do a subject to i know real estate brokers that won't do subject to do you have an agent or do you need an agent? To do this? They asked me if I had, yeah. There were several people that said, do you have a real estate agent? They who? They, the title company. No, I got no agent. What the hell I need an agent for? That's what I was thinking. I didn't know, but that's what they asked me. So I figured, is that, is that something that I would need? But, See, the problem is you look like a person that deals in the conventional world. And you look like a person that deals in the unconventional world. We look identical. <laughs> we look, ident but you can't tell what's up here. It's so beautiful when you walk. People don't know when I walk in, man, that I'm ready to just. I'm, I, you know, I'm a soldier, dude. You know, I got all my stuff. Everywhere. They don't know that stuff. They don't know when they look at you. They don't know that you're not doing any credit report. You're not turning in tax returns. You you don't even know what your credit score is on this house. You're not even gonna apply for a loan you're not gonna do anything they don't know that when you walk in they think you're harry homeowner walking in with an agent they're gonna ask you who's your agent they're gonna say who's representing the seller's agent all this fluff the real estate industry has convinced america that we need agents or other people to help us buy and sell real estate quincy and i just think that it's a big scam if a buyer wants to do business with a seller let us do it you know, stop making us have to go pay you money to freaking make real estate, um, to transact real estate. This is BS. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so yeah, this is, I mean, it's it's starting to make a lot of sense now. I didn't know where I was going to go from here, but now it, it's starting to make sense. Once I get that, I didn't know anything about the deed insurance until today. So that's deal, deal insurance. Yeah, I'm sorry, deal, deal insurance. Deal insurance, yeah. Oh, yeah, Luxury Car Store says it's 123notary.com. Yeah, just go there, dude. You can pick up. Man, you'll have people dying for business if right before Christmas. They'll do it for pennies, probably. All right, let's do this so I can go. I got to go get some Christmas, getting ready for Christmas. Celeste, affidavit of understanding. Yeah, it's the same thing. Affidavit of understanding or the deal insurance is the same document. And I'll if you get the deal insurance, I'll throw in my purchase and sale agreement for you. You can have it. Chris said the man. Huh? Don't I already have that one? That's the subject to one. You? No, I'm talking about a regular purchase and sale agreement. I don't need that for the subject to then, right? I would need that for, for okay. You don't need that. Sierra, Qu Quincy, let me do some questions and then I can get out of here. Okay. They said you got the best questions, Quincy. Quincy, y'all don't know this. Quincy has a mind that will when we first talked, dude, you were going like, your questions were like, you on it, Quincy. You on it, dog. I'm 24. Sharp mind. Sharp mind. Government, ultimate bargains. Your guest has a nice but ugly 
Christmas. <laughs> Ultimate bargains. Government insured or guaranteed loans require the property owner to service the debt from the income of the property. Do not collect rent and not pay on the loan. Oh yeah, ultimate bargains. You better make sure you pay the pay the lender when you collect rent. Go with an ultimate bargain. Yeah, because that's what fraud, right? Yeah, a lot of guys collect the rent, let their let the house go to foreclosure. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dudes are doing that, dog. I gotta get done. I got about a hundred questions, man. But I, if you got something you need this urgent, y'all can do a super chat and I get to it immediately. Lena, Pina, you're taking notes. Praise God. Poe J, you're welcome. You're welcome. Ladila, y'all got some names, y'all. Orlando, Curtesa, Vanderpool. How much can you net on these 72 deals? Sierra and Sierra, Sierra. I mean, it depends. You can net five to ten thousand. You're probably going to get three thousand up there. You know what you should do? I would recommend go to Craigslist, Quincy, to see what type of down payments are out there. To go to go to Craigslist and just type in your town and type in rent to own. See what comes up on Craigslist. See what type of down payments people are asking for. Mm -hmm. And if you want to join my inner circle, we can talk about that off record. You got to have a good ad, a strong ad. This is after you buy it to sell it for your lease option. <clears throat> you should have your whiteboard. Yeah, you're right. I should have done a whiteboard. We'll do another one on that. We learn by making mistakes. Ultimate bargains. You're, right. you're going to make a mistake, Quincy. Don't worry about it, dog. Derek says you know enough to be dangerous. That is true. Tunstall. Hey, Richmond. T. Tunstall, Richmond. What does it mean to be recorded in the courthouse? We just take it and ask for it to be recorded. All right, Fed, Federico, Federico. Oh. So when you get that deal insurance notarized, you're gonna take it to the courthouse. Well, right now, when I get them, let me show you a picture. Wanna see one, what, what they look like? Mm -hmm. You gotta have your files. And this is what they look like. It's on legal paper. I'll email it right to you. At the top says memorandum of contract. It gets notarized. The buyer and the seller get notaries for both of y'all. See, there's two notaries on there. So you get this notarized. You take this. Whoa, okay. You get it notarized with the contract at the same time. If they have any questions, you just say, this is Miss Smith, this is all standard. You see, everything I do is what? Standard. <laughs> Everything's standard, dog. So you get that notarized, but you don't need to record it yet until shit starts getting rocky, until she stops making returning calls or she decides to change her mind. Then you can go record it, and I can show you how to do that stuff too. But I mean, the court, they, the courthouse clerk can walk you down that. They can show you how to do that. Federico, I hope that I helped you with that. You'll get paid if she backs out. Yes, La Dila, you get paid if she decides. Say, for instance, Quincy, you get your notarized, your deal insurance notarized, right? Mm -hmm. Next month, she says, I don't want to sell you the house. You record it. And you just sit back and wait. Eventually, you're going to get a call. Somebody's going to say, Quincy, I need you to release your lien against this house. And then you send them an invoice for 10 grand, like I did. I'm like, yeah, I'll release my joint with my check. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. I've been down. This ain't my first. You know, it's weird. When I've sued people, people have sued me to try to get me off title. Once I record this against your house. I've got lawsuits from me like, man, you need to release your lien against my property. I'm like, you know, you can pay me to release it, but I'm not going to do it. Do I have the subject to documents? Yeah, just go to, uh, I can put a link for those too. I don't even think about that. I'll put a link down here. Kenneth, I'll put a link for the sub two docs too. A Beezer says, good luck to you, Quincy. Thank you. 
Ladela says you cloud the title with that. Yes, you cloud the title with the memorandum of contract or the deal insurance. Yes. Does the notary need to be there when the uh, C? I like that name, just letter C. Does the notary need to be there when the seller signs the memorandum? Yes. Eventually, we're going to digital notaries where you'll have a phone, right? Because everything's going to the phone, right? The notary will be on the other end. You'll, you'll hold up your driver's license to the screen. And soon, Granny Smith will be able to notar they'll be able to notarize it online. But we're not there yet. That's where we're going to. But yes, the notary needs to meet you at the house with the seller, Quincy. Okay. Chris. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, my email. Darn. If you want this, if I didn't include links to these docs, just you can email me for any doc you need. I'll send you the link. I mean, you need subject two. You need the land trust. God, you need all that stuff. Celeste, he found that deal by using, tell him how you found that deal again, Quincy. Pre-foreclosure listings, Zillow. And that's, but I mean, you did the, what, what else did you do? Well, I'm sorry, what, what is your question? You did, how, how did you, how did you actually get in touch with them? Oh, I did the, um, <laughs> the door tags. Door hangers. Door hangers, yeah. 700 credit score, but no verifiable, but Rod Clark. How can he get his foot in the door with a fix and flip, buy and hold? Like to do both, whichever one I can do. Rod Clark, do, do what Quincy's doing. He's buying a house. With, I mean, you can shit. You don't have to make the payments. And you know what you could do? You can ask, you know what? Oh, man, Quincy, does your seller have any more money? No. She said she does. She said that she could try to pull out $1,000, but because her Social Security is only less than 2000 she said that she really would not want to come out of pocket anything. Yeah, you might need to let. I, I was gonna say she 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 could bring some money to closing, but you need to just let her off the hook. Yeah. Why pay more than fifteen dollars? A way more luxury car store. Yeah, in Philly, it's probably gonna be more. I was just about to ask your opinion on Ronald Grant's info on subject two, Anthony. Yeah, Ronald Grant's a godfather. I. I didn't find out to Ronald Grant until I was in the business for about six years, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. At Toth, A to the D, A to the D. Your bank does do free notaries, but then you got to get your seller out of their element to go to the bank. Is she mobile? Does she like to move? No, she just had uh, double knee surgery. She kind of wobbles a little bit. You don't want her doing nothing but doing this. Writing on paper. Go over there with the notary. I need that deal insurance link. Jason, I put it in the bottom down there. Please. Okay, yeah. The deal insurance, it's in the uh, video description. I hope. Yeah, it's got, the link of the deal insurance is right in the video description, class. I created this document. I mean, shit, it's been 13 years ago. 14 years uh, A to the D, you want the sub two package, just email me any documents you want. I will quit my job wholesaling in New Orleans. What up? Asset protection are we are allowed to put title and trust and not cause to do on sale. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't even worry about that. Do I have a lease option course? I just have a lease option documents. Phoebe, just email me for that. Quincy, I'm gonna let you go, man. I'm almost done. You, am I holding you up? Oh no, I, I like to, I like to listen to the questions. They got some good stuff, dude. Ultimate bargain says it's worth asking for. It's worth paying for. Chris is giving you gold. Thank you, Ultimate Bargains. I hope so. Title insurance saved me thousands. One thousand. So we need to get title insurance, Autumn. That's remember I told you you better get that uh, title insurance, dog. Mm -hmm. Phoebe, check out Mr. Transaction. Oh yeah, we got these options still. Kathy, Alabama. Yes, the deal insurance is in the video description. Any documents you want. Chris found a buyer for a sub two deal, thirty thousand dollars down. That's a nice one, Quincy. You might get twenty k too. I hope so. We'll show you how to market that because you don't want to tell them what you want until they tell you what they have. 
<laughs> right. right. I've seen people sell their sub two for thirty or forty thousand stadium stat status. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, y'all give me a thumbs up on my uh, optimization, please. Y'all give me a th like the content below for the for my optimization purposes, please. Quincy, you too. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button. Gotcha. Are your documents free? No, CCBB. I don't want nothing for free. I want to pay my money. I want to get exactly what I pay for. Lynn opinion it says, as long as all the documents are notarized, you yourself can take them to the closing eternal. No, no, Lena opinion. You are not notarizing anything. Only thing that you are personally in charge of getting notarized is the deal insurance. When you get your contract with the seller, you're going to sit down with Miss Smith, sign a contract, get the deal insurance notarized at that time. That's it. Everything else gets notarized by the attorney at closing. Joe Brown, Joe Brown, Joseph, and Boston are the subject to contracts standard state to state. You know, I'm not going to say, yeah, the, the, the philosophy or the spirit of subject to per se is across the board. You, Quincy, you understand that one state to state? Yes. The spirit, I've done them in about, personally, I've seen them done in about five states. I'm not a complete expert on every state in America. You know, like I would say Marlon Ground would know somebody, but still, hire somebody in your town that understands this stuff so they can, like your guy said, he wants to tweak the documents. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm not mad at that. Real estate mad. Which state are you in? Quincy, what state you in, dog? Pennsylvania. He's in PA. All right, Quincy, if you got any questions, you can email me until we get you in the inner circle. I, I know you got a million questions, dog, but get these two things signed before you do anything else. Okay, I got you. That's what I'm going to do. All right, class, God bless you, and Eddie and I will be hanging out tomorrow at 1. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet, but if you need any, any of these documents, just email me. The email is there. I, to see the deal insurance, I had to get it off the video and go back. Oh, refresh your screen. That's right. If you need the deal insurance, just refresh your screen. Quincy, I'm going to bed. Well, I'm not going to bed, but I'm going to deal with these kids. Anything else? Nope. We're all good. Thank you so much, Chris. Don't forget, you're only one lead away from your next house. Subscribe to my channel class, and I'll see you on the next training. All right, Quincy. Peace, dog. See ya.